Hey everyone, I'm David and welcome to Oct Talk, the series where we talk about ocarinas and other music stuff. A couple weeks ago I asked you guys which Majora's Mask song you wanted an extended tutorial for and it was very close, but the majority of you wanted to do Stone Tower Temple, which is awesome because I love that song. So in today's episode I'm going to break that song down into four sections, the intro, A section, B section, and the outro, and I'm going to introduce each section by playing the song at full tempo and then giving you guys a close up along with the finger tabs. Just a heads up that this full song does require the range of a 12 hole ocarina or the new 7 hole ocarina of time by Songbird Ocarina, but you can play the beginning snippet on a pendant or inline ocarina, which I covered recently in my Majora's Mask tutorial, which I'll link to right here, and then also in the description below. And before we get started, I want to teach you guys a little ornamentation that's going to make you sound 10 times cooler every time you use it. This is called a mordant, and basically all it is, is when you have a starting note, let's say we're on B, you quickly move up to the note just above it, C, and then back down again, and it sounds like this in full speed. This is what it sounds like in the song. So one more time, without tonguing or stopping the note. Just one single breath. And you'll know it's time to use this whenever you see a little squiggly line above a note on sheet music or when you see it above a tab in this tutorial. So as you saw in the demo for the intro, this does require the use of the sub holes. If you have a Taiwanese style ocarina, instead of going like this with your right hand, moving both those index and middle fingers down, you're going to use your left middle finger and your right middle finger because the sub hole is usually right here. So you would go like this from the E, like that. But for this, with the Japanese style sub holes, we're going to reach down like this to get that low A and then back up to E, then again down to the A, then to the E, and you do this three times, so let's try it together, just that back and forth between the A and the E. Ready? One, two, ready, go. And you can see that if you're familiar with music, those were eighth notes, so it's one, and two, and three, and, and that last note is going to be F. So, the A, E, A, E, A, E, F. Let's try all four of those together. One, two, ready, go. And that section repeats twice. So as you saw in the demo for that, this uses the upper part of the range. It also includes the mordant, which we talked about at the beginning of the episode, and I'll show you that a little bit slower this time. So the first note is the high A. The last section started with the low A. This is an octave above that. Up to the C, which is all fingers up off on top except for that left pinky. And then down to the B. And on that B, we're going to do the mordant, which is quickly, in one breath, Play the B, lift up your finger, and back down again. Here we go. Really slow. One, two, ready, go. One more time. One, two, ready, go. Let's try it at the full tempo now. One, two, ready, go. Got it? One more time. One, two, ready, go. All right, now let's try the second part of the A section, which starts on the G, and it's kind of similar to the first part, but let me play through it really slow. You can see it goes down to the E with my right hand at the very end there, but most of the notes happen here on the left. So let's play it together really slow. It's G, which is just all those left hand notes, then A, then C, then B, and then you do that little mordant trill down to the A. G again, and then E. 
All right, together, here we go. One, two, ready, on G. One more time. One, two, ready. And then the, the first part repeats, the starting on the A. But you don't do the mordant this time, so it's just A, C, B. This time, we're going to do the mordant on that part that starts in the G, the second part of the A section. Let's try that together, really slow. One, two, starting on G. Once more, one, ready, go. Now let's go back just a little bit and play that little bit that just goes A, C, B, plus the ending section. Here we go, one, two, ready. Now let's go all the way back to the beginning of the A section and we're going to play both parts together. One, two, ready, go. All right, now for the B section, this is kind of a leap because you're going to go up a fifth to the high E, which is no thumbs, just your left pinky is the only hole that's being covered. And you're going to have to increase your breath a little bit depending on your ocarina type, but for this one, it requires a bit of a jump in breath. Got it? So you're going to play that high E twice, and then down to, to the D, which is for me the right thumb down, then B, which is left both thumbs down and then your left index finger back up to the high E and then you walk down to the B from the high E back up to the high E to D then you're gonna walk down to the A so from D then C then B then A so let me play it all together for you. So that is the first part of the B section. Let's try it together. One, two, ready, go. Now this is the latter half of the B section. It's pretty similar. Let me play through it first and I'll walk you through it. So a couple different rhythm sections there. It starts off on the high E again, but it skips one of the Bs. As you can see, it starts off on the high E and just goes down to D, then it starts up on E again and walks down to B. Back up to E. Let's try that together. One, two, ready, go. Good. 
Now here, we go up to the high F, which is gonna be that left pinky, and this is the only time we go up that high. So from the high E, lift up your left pinky, back down to E, and you're just gonna walk down to F. Let's try that together, here we go. From the high E, one, two, ready, go. Awesome. All right, this is my favorite part of the song and it's very simple to play. All you have to do is play the low E, which is all holes covered on the left hand and the left index and middle finger on the right hand for the E. Then jump up to the A, which is just your left index finger and left middle finger on the left hand. And then you jump up to the high C, which is all holes up on top except for the left pinky. And then that B, with, which is just the left index finger with the mordant. Then you go down to G and you repeat that part. So let's try those together. Here we go. Starting on the low E. One, two, ready, go. In the original song, the outro is actually played an octave above the melody, so if you have a soprano C or a double ocarina, this would be perfect in that upper part of the range. For the double ocarina, the outro is all on the second chamber, so it's really easy to play. You just start on the lowest note, which is E, then jump up to the A, then the highest note, which is C, then B, then G, and repeat the first part again. And finally, on the soprano ocarina. Guys, it's going to do it for this tutorial. If you would like to help support future episodes of Vox Talk and other song tutorials, you can check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash docjazz4. And as a thank you for your support, I'm going to send you some downloadable finger charts, uh, other ocarina exercises, and more playing tips for each new episode of Oct Talk. Thank you so much for watching. Keep making music, and we'll have more Oct Talk next Tuesday.